It seems the message from every JLo movie is exactly the same. Don't be fooled by the rocks that she's got. She's still Jenny from the block, but she still knows where she came from. Oh yeah. JLo suffers from an over eagerness to impress on us that she's still Jenny from the block. Still that girl from the Bronx, in touch with her roots, and not that diva who throws a hissy fit if the green M&Ms aren't taken out of her life. That rich little poor girl from the Bronx, not the queen from Queens, chip on the shoulder or block on the shoulder more like. That whole routine and theme that she tends to do in a lot of her films is a little bit tiresome, particularly now as she's reached such a level of stardom. So here I am on the streets of Dublin, because I'm still connected to the streets, representing all the gangsters all across the world. Taking my time to perfect the beat, and I still got love for the streets, it's the FRE. Do you ever look at your life and wonder how you got there? If you made different choices, would you be happy? Don't get me wrong, I like JLo. I admire her for her dancing and for her music, albeit from afar. And she's achieved quite a bit. But as you can guess, there's a lot of coming here. This is J-Lo at 50 and the title second act tends to imply perhaps a, some sort of midlife crisis and maybe that is there. And that over eagerness to still prove and, her, and impress on us her rueful authenticity is going a little bit tiresome. And made in Manhattan there's a lot of parallels there. A uh, similar theme of somebody who's struggling. I just wish we lived in a world where street smarts equal book smarts. She rails against people in their fancy houses. How dare they? People in fancy houses who want success. Scroll. Who? The educated people in their fancy houses who name their kids after fruit. And I wouldn't be surprised if this was a presidential bid for 2020. It's certainly a pushing all the buttons and all the numbers. Who knows? I mean, she's not Donald Trump. She has broken the mold in terms of body image, which has been a very positive movement for women and for young girls particularly, which is a very admirable. This hour-long potential campaign film features some sledgehammer feminism, which I'm going to stick, stick my neck out and anticipate that a lot of women will find patronising and reductive. Practically every man that features in the second act is a dickhead. Arthur is our boss and he is a Dickhead. It's not easy getting a job for a woman your age. Watch me. Arthur's boss is also a man, and he is a sexist, ignorant pig. Arthur got his MBA from Duke. He's the best man for the job. No, sir. I am. So this has been Fergus. I'm still Fergus from the block. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. Over and out representing all the gangsters all across the world. Taking my time to perfect the beat and I still got love for the streets. It's the DRE. Some lady called for you. Something about a job interview? Oh my God, Franklin and Clark? Your resume interests me. Wharton Business School. I'm sorry, what? And of course, you have got to see her Facebook page. My Facebook page? Obama? I gave you a completely new identity. You said you wanted to be fancy, so I just like Cinderella dress. Uh, uh, a lie got you in the door. But you got the job, baby. Who's the champ? Let's go. Who's the champ? I'm the champ. You're the ch you're the champ. Get yeah, come on. I'm gonna be your hero. Trying to save the day. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You need to wear anything other than that. You look like Mrs. Doubtfire. Baby, baby. Wow. This is my office. They gave you an apartment and credit cards. I'm gonna take these off your hands. Don't you dare. And I'm gonna take these coasters. Oh, yo, 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 baby, pop. You're gonna come clean, right? I can do this. Is that Maya Vargas? These are my friends from Norton. Warren. We did some time in the Peace Corps together. We save whales. Don't confuse this Facebook thing with who you really are. I really admire you. You're kind of who I want to be when I grow up. 
We're looking at a new Chinese distributor. The only employee we have who speaks Mandarin is me. I got an idea. Our cat's veterinarian speaks Mandarin. We would love to schedule a tour for you. But we have to wait for the deal to be closed. <laughs> I like her. <laughs>